Yo, what's good, everybody, man? Let me scoot up for this one. Oh, this is my first story time, man. My first story time. I'm about to tell y'all about how I got rejected for the first time. It was bad. You know what I'm saying? It was really bad. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make up a name for this girl. We'll probably call her. Uh, let's give her a name. You know what? I don't care. She ain't go, it's not like she gonna watch this video. Her name, this wasn't her name, but this wasn't her real name. But this was the nickname that people called her. Her, her nickname was Harmony. Her, her other name, I, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna just keep that to her. Cause she don't even, I don't even know her like, like at all to this day. Like since middle school, I haven't seen her after, after, after middle school. So I don't know where she's at. I don't really care. So I'm about to tell y'all, tell y'all what, what happened, man. So this all happened in sixth grade. She, she like okay. So let me let me start off from the from the beginning beginning. I'm gonna start from the beginning beginning. So let's fast forward to fifth grade. So fifth grade, I remember we graduated. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man it's Ugo. You watching this man? And amazing. But uh, I remember fifth grade. We were graduating from uh, one of my elementary schools I used to go to. And I remember we were every all the kids were celebrating. So the gym is like it was like we was graduating in the gym, the gymnasium area. And then after that, we walked towards the cafeteria. But the cafeteria in elementary schools they had stages. And I remember all the boys and the girls, everybody was excited because they were going to a middle school, right? So we all jumped, and this guy was like, "Oh, we sixth graders, we sixth graders." And I remember I looked to the right. And then I saw her, and it was like, like the way that I saw her, it was like, it was like love at first sight in this motherfucker. It was like love at first sight, and I was like, yo, what the hell, bruh? Like, like, she looked like, at the time, she looked really pretty to me, and I was like, yo, like, who, who is that? She had a white dress on, you know what I'm saying? Hoop earrings, you gotta be attracted to the hoop earrings, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's like one of the number one, number one attractiveness when it comes to a girl. Like, like, the jewelry that she wear, you know what I'm saying? Smell nice. She had a nice white, white dress on, you know what I'm saying? She was looking... She was looking, she was looking pretty, pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? And I, I saw her, and I was like, damn. I, I hope, I hope I get to like know her someday. So fast forward, we get to sixth grade. I had class with her, and that's when it went downhill. I was being the top tier simp. I was being a top tier fucking simp, man. I was buying her gum. Uh, uh, it was a corner store beside my school, and I was being a simp. I used to give her gum. All this stuff, bro. Cause I thought that, that that's that's what get to a girl how it was buying her snacks and stuff. But no, 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 no. That was not the case at all. And to little kids out there that's growing up in middle school or high school, do not be a simp, bro. I'm trying to tell you this. I'm I'm trying to tell you, bro. Do not be a simp. Don't buy her nothing unless she deserve it, bro. I promise you. But uh, to carry on with the uh, story. So I used to buy her little things. I liked her really, uh, like I liked her like a lot, a lot. She was the first girl that I actually like, like. And I used to buy her gum, give her gum, and stuff like just small snacks here and there. And I remember one day, it was one day, man. I remember like she, her locker was right next to mine's, so it was it was kind of scary. And I remember. Uh, one of my friends named Diego, he had asked out a girl on the piece of paper, right? He said, will you go out me circle, yes or no? If y'all know about that, y'all the real OGs. But if you know about that, you know about that, bruh. But I remember uh, he wrote it in a notebook. And I was like, that gave me an idea. I was like, oh, that's what I'm going to do if when I ask her out one day. So, me being dumb, you know back then in, in middle school, we used to use agenda books. And agenda books, we used to write down like, like stuff in the calendar. <laughs> and I remember one time I wrote... <laughs> I wrote a note saying in uh, Va Valentine's Day. I wrote my, I wrote to myself, "Ask out, ask out harmony," and and I put that on February 14th. I remember, I remember, I wrote that down. I remember the exact thing I did. And when I did that, I said those exact words. I was like, "I'm gonna ask her out. I'm gonna ask her out on Valentine's Day." And then fast forward to Valentine's Valentine's Day. I remember, um, I wrote down a note. Will you go out with me? And I put it in her locker. Remember, her locker is right next to mine's. So when school dismisses, she's right there next to me. And, and if she would have saw the note, I would have been right there and been very awkward. So I'm going to tell you what happened. So after class, 
the bell rang, it was class, class was over, school was over. We, they were going to the buses and walking home or car rides. And I, I walk home and she takes a bus, I think, or a car ride or something like that. So I remember I put the, the note directly in her locker. And her rocker is right next to mine, on this side. So I like slid it into them little little holes that the lockers have at the top. I slid them in there. I slid one one little piece of note. And me being me, because I was young, so you can't blame me. I put a dollar in there, right? The dollar was was it was like a regular one dollar bill. I don't know why I put that there. It was fucking like stupid as shit. I don't know what like what the hell was I thinking, bro? But I put a dollar bill in there, and she she saw it, and then she opened it. But when she opened it, I had ran away. Like, I ran away from the scene because I didn't want to, like, because I was nervous, bro. I was nervous. I was really nervous. So I put the dollar there, and, you know what I'm saying, I left. I left. I put the note and the dollar there, and I left with my friend Jonathan. And then when I was, when I was walking with him, I actually went to the poncho store to get some, like, snacks and then come back up to the school to see what she said. Bragging to, like, all my friends, I was like, yeah, bro. I said, I got a new girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, like sitting in my head, I was actually really nervous. I didn't know what she said, but I was just telling everybody that she might say yes. Because not everybody knew who it was, but I was just telling them that I might have a girlfriend. Might. Keyword, might. And I remember we went back up to the school, and she had walked past me and my, my friend Jonathan. You know what I'm saying? And I remember she gave me the note back, and she was shaking her head like this. And in my head, I was like, huh? And she said no, and then I opened the note, and it said no, but she took the fucking dollar. She took the dollar, but she left the note. So when I opened the note, it said no. And then later on, that the next day, around nighttime, I remember I had kick. If you know kick is, you a real one, man. So we had kick back then in sixth grade, and I remember they had added me to a group chat. It was at nighttime, and I was, oh, I had my tablet, by the way, I didn't really have a phone, an Android, just yet, you know what I'm saying, but I had this, uh, this tablet that I used to use uh, for kick, and I remember, I, ta I remember they added me to a, gr a group chat, and I was like, I was like, like what's, what's this, and I seen some of my friends, you know what I'm saying, and I remember, it was so bad, bro, I remember, <sighs> I remember everybody in that group chat, they was roasting me, teasing me, because not only did I got rejected, they was calling me like, I don't know why they was calling me Ashy. Like, they kept putting up lotion, lotion, lotion picture, pictures of, like, Ashy. Like, you know, the little memes and shit. I don't know why they was calling me Ashy, but but they was, like, like kind of, like, like, teasing me and stuff like that because I uh, got rejected. And, um... And she, she was the main, the person that rejected me, Harmony, she was the main one, like, really going at it, at me for no reason. I wasn't really trying to roast back, because I didn't really know how to roast back then. But right now, if we was to roast, I would really like, cook her ass and everybody in that fucking group chat. You know what I'm saying? I got my roasting skills up now, so I wish they would come back, spin the block. Because I realized spin the block on their little beady ass heads. They, they did me bad, they did me wrong, man. And they used to, they was roasting me the whole week. The whole week, it was bad. And I was so, I was like, so fucking sad. But, um, like, it, it just got bad from there, bro. But I try not to make that my main focus. Cause I was in sixth grade. You shouldn't even be worried about girls. I was mostly worried about playing basketball and just having fun in general. And then, anyway, eighth grade came. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had my little glow up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had got me a little fade for the first time. And, um, because the previous year, I didn't really have, I had that bald cut. That fucking African ball cut. You know when your parents be give me the fucking ball cuts, bruh. Then you shave your head and tell the barber to cut your head down. That's the that's the cuts I used to have, have to rock, bruh. And, and I had a mohawk sixth grade, but I had the rest I had like bald cuts and just hair. Like I didn't even have like no fade or nothing. I just had shape ups. But when eighth grade came, that's when I had my glow up year. You know what I'm saying? It was a glow up year. I'm gonna have my glow up year again. But I had my glow up year eighth grade. It was a good year. I had the best friends, the best classes. And I remember she had my English class, right? And she, she actually started to like me because I was glowing up. But after that, after that eighth grade year, I never saw her again. But with that being said, man, I got one message for y'all boys out there. 
not to the older, but to the younger generation. Even if you're older, if you, if you, even if you never went through rejection, I'm gonna tell you that now. And for the younger, the youngins, man, listen now, bro. Coming from Two Fly Real, you know what I'm saying, the one and only. Don't be afraid of rejection, bro. It's going to happen, bro. It's a part of life, all right. It's a part of life, bro. You get rejected. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you will. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of life. Yeah, you might you might get rejected from a girl, but there's other girls out there, bro. It's more fishing to see. So don't worry about one girl when it's a fucking a billion others that even might look better than the girl that you like. So you you'll be good, bro. You'll be good. Trust me, man. Give me a fist bump. Come on. But yeah, man, trust me, man. Y'all, y'all gonna be good, bro. Don't, don't worry about rejection. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come with it. But after rejection, man, all you gotta do is just boss up. But if she come around again and she try to ask for your uh, uh, number and all this, you wanna, if you wanna link up, Trumbo clutch, man. Hell no, nah. she gonna get the. She can spin the block. You know what I'm saying? If that, if that girl ever come in my face talking about some uh some some uh she wanna link up after she see what what I'm doing with my life, she automatically getting the. You know what I'm saying? Bye bye. What the fuck? Hell nah. She hell nah, bro. Hell nah. You not finna. Hell nah. You not finna come for me. You gonna like me for me, and and that's it. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't just be doing all that wild ass shit, bro. Hell nah. You cannot do all that, bruh. But with that being said, man, it's been your boy, Two Fly Rail. Peace!